what's the best way you've seen someone not give AFK? I went on a white water rafting trip and at the end of the night all the guides stayed at the same campground as the rest of us. They were a lot douchey and when we all had a campfire and beers. They were standoffish and then started talking st about us. Anyone who went on the tour. I got drunk and took a dump in one of their kayaks. I was pretty pleased. So you didn't give afk. But you did give ast. Nice. When I was in 6th form. Around 16 17 I suggested to my history class that we all take our chairs and move them to other side of the desks and face the back of the class as a joke. We did so. Our teacher walked in and just looked at us. Grabbed his books, notes from his desk and moved to the back of the class. Facing us and started the lesson. No one said a word about the change and he acted like he didn't even notice. I'm still friends with this teacher now at 22. Had an entry-level programming class in college where a few students came in with multiple boxes of Egos and a toaster. They just plugged it in at the side of the class and started passing out plates of waffles. The professor eventually noticed. Asked if they were making waffles to which they confirmed. Chuckled. And kept right on from where he left off. Dot. Dot. Tasty. It's only because they brought enough for the rest of the class. That's how to do it. Everybody wins. In high school I had this happen twice in AP classes. One time someone brought a griddle and pancake mix. Our AP calc teacher gave zero FS as long as he got food. I watched a lifeguard eat a salad with only a steak knife. I just told this story but one of my high school teachers was 24-7 not give AFK. A student brought in an electric griddle and started cooking sausages and pancakes in the middle of class. And when the teacher asked him WTF he was doing. He said he was cooking sausages and pancakes. And the teacher basically went. Oh. Okay. This guy right here. He's got a major set of BS. Legend. I was in a McDonald's during lunch rush. A guy walked in and tried to rob the place. The manager told him he didn't have time to get robbed and just took the next person's order. The place was packed and the would-be robber just left empty-handed and ignored. I saw a guy get stabbed take the knife out and stab the guy who stabbed him. Old co-worker of mine when I was a lifeguard. It was his last year working and he gave no SS. He consistently came in wearing a nude beach lifeguard tank top. If kids were bothering him on stand, he'd get down and push them in the pool. He has good rapport with patrons and parents so it was sort of okay just frowned upon. He ordered food to the pool in the middle of shifts. Played explicit music over the sound system. And took off the 4th of July, which was our busiest day because there's a big party, barbecue, only to come as a patron. Get drunk and sing karaoke. Edit. I feel bad that this made him sound like a huge AE lol. I swear guys. He was a good guy and extremely well liked. The guards and the board who were in charge of the pool were constantly at odds because of CP working conditions. So it was honestly refreshing to see somebody so untouchable by them because he was on his way out. Also. He didn't just push in every nearby child lol. It was always kids he knew well. Knew were strong swimmers. And had a good bantery rapport with, which is why they were audacious enough to rag on the lifeguard in the first place. Also. The fourth had the whole rest of the staff working so he wasn't that vital to being there. Dude was just having a good time. The living embodiment of Billy from Stranger Things. Second semester senior year of high school. After AP season. This kid walked in every day with nothing but a pillow and a new quart-sized bottle of iced tea. Not only did she not give AFK, but the teachers also didn't. That's kinda how my AP classes were after the AP test. They really didn't care too much. My calculus teacher would tell us stories and we'd play games after the AP test. 
was coming home and approaching an intersection with a four-way stop. Always backed. Nobody seems to know or care how it's supposed to work. As I'm waiting for my turn. I see the same guy keep trying to go. And getting cut off. Happened two or three times. Guy finally had enough. Pulled out into the intersection. And did donuts for a solid two minutes. You could hardly see anything by the time he was done because of the smoke. Dude drove right off casually like nothing happened. A buddy of mine back in high school. Scrawny little white kid. One day his sister had her biker boyfriend and two of his friends probably in their mid-twenties over. We were gonna go to his place and play some video games and I guess the boyfriend was being a douche and muttered something under his breath when we walked by. My buddy this 13-year-old kid went to his backyard into the shed. Grabbed what looked like a 2x4 and just went to town on three grown AS men. They went running down the street and he fully chased them. Not a single FK was given that day. I don't see him as much anymore but we try to catch up once a year and it's a story we always laugh about. The 2 times 4 Lego brick? Ouch. That's a nasty one. Stable and painful. Got stuck in trig my final semester of high school. I had senior sign in for first period. Study hall. Then gym class. Then trig. Then senior sign out. Second study hall. I already had every credit needed to graduate. Was already fully accepted to my college choice. And the only reason I was in trig was because you can't have three study halls and gym. So we put you there. School had intensive scheduling, which was four classes a day. Showed up every day at like 830 in my gym clothes. Had gym. Went to Trig where I literally signed my name on papers and handed them back in. And then went to work after the class. I couldn't get lower than a 50 in the class as long as I didn't get dropped from it. And a 50 on my GPA still kept me in a upper B range. So made no difference but I had to be there to get my attendance credit. Easiest semester ever. At the end of the semester she didn't even give me a final. Just said you can leave. Have a good day. And out I went. One time a Redditor was on their cake day. And they didn't even go karma whoring using crappy memes. Respect. I was on an internship that was a train wreck. I started later than some of the other interns. Turns out our main office space would flood when it rained. I came in to find the lobby and office with an inch of standing water. One of the other interns walked in. Looked at all the water. Sighed. Sloshed over to his computer. Picked up his power strip. Flicked the water off. Sat down. Turned his computer on. And started working. Dude barely seemed to notice. Isn't that like hazardous? Yes. Definitely hazardous. Saying it was a train wreck is an understatement. They just started keeping all the power strips and cables off the ground. Eventually the leak in the ceiling was found and fixed. Kind of one of those things that in hindsight was ridiculous and just shows how much young people will sometimes put up with because they don't know any better or think things through. Adult me thinks it is a miracle it didn't cause an accident and would have flipped their ST that people were even near it. There was an old dude that would ride around town on his Harley. Must have been something to do. One day he rode by my apartment in boxers. Flip flops. A cigar in his mouth. And thrift shop by Macklemore blaring super loud on his radio. I wish to give that few of FS one day. Playing you got a friend in me while having SX. My mom. Grandma and great grandma were walking down the main street of a town when my great grandma's underwear fell down from underneath her dress. She stepped out if them like nothing happened and kept strolling down the street. Grandma quickly snatched up the underwear and shoved them in her handbag so nobody would see. To underscore to. Thank you for perfectly capturing the response to this. This is almost exactly my expression RN but I only do it with one eye. My aunt disapproved of her nephew's upcoming wedding and vocalized this numerous times. They were only getting married because the girl was pregnant. 
my aunt ended up going to the wedding wearing pajamas. They got divorced like six months later. Surprised she even got invited. My aunt didn't approve of her daughter's wedding, which was held at a local church and was kind of a potluck reception. My aunt brought two subway footlongs as her contribution. It was hilarious. My aunt, her nephew, sorry to hear about your divorce. At my first job, a co-worker and I both came on to work the 3 to 9 shift. After clocking in and assuming our positions at the register, she casually said, uh, I really don't wanna be here today. I sighed and said, yeah, me neither. We stood in silence for a minute. And then she walked back to the manager's office, punched out, grabbed her purse, and walked out the door. The manager came out a minute later and asked me, did she just leave? Quote dot. Not a word to anyone and we never saw her again. Lol. I used to be a manager at Petco and we had this fish tank that was very old. It was original to the store and it was being held together by band-aids and good intentions. We kept requesting it be replaced. We were putting more money into it than it was worth at this point. But corporate kept saying no. The new tanks cost well over $1. Oh 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 and they would rather chuck out a few hundred every month or so. Because that made sense. Well we hired this young punk AS kid to be aquatic specialist. He was bright but did not have a good background. He was a criminal. He stole guns and was a druggie. I don't know how he got hired on. He was a touch above worthless on a good day. On his first day I jokingly said if he can come up with a way to break this tank I would much appreciate it. Within two weeks he broke the tank and showed me how he broke it so it would look like an accident. Silicone had been cut in a way that it would leak badly without it being able to be fixed. He didn't even hesitate. Didn't even seem remorseful or anything. Within a month we had a new tank. Looks like he was worth however much money that little maneuver saved y'all. It was being held together by band-aids and good intentions. Me too kid. Me too. I see your usefulness now, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Can I add my own? I used to work at Upper Ferntree Gully Railway Station. The wiki article is a little bald. But, the station has a signal panel inside it for control of the tracks in the area. One of the smallest stations on the network is Tacoma Station. It has a single face platform and one track. It doesn't take a genius to realize that with one track, you have one train at any one moment. Train control told me to cross two trains at Tacoma. No can do. You will do it. I was told from on high. No. I won't. Do it or lose your job. Quote. Actual words uttered by me. I don't give AFK who you are. What you are. Or how FG senior you are. If you look at your FG track diagram you'll know I'm FG right. And I hung up on him. Yeah. So. That was fun. Worked in a movie theater and an older man came to the box office to complain and ask for a refund for his movie. I don't remember the reason but he was furious and disgusted by the film. Cursing under his breath. My coworker gave him a refund and the gentleman still wasn't satisfied. He said, this is bullshit I need to talk to your manager. My coworker calls the manager. The man buffs and puffs as he waits. Looks at my coworker and says, aren't you even going to ask me why I'm upset? My coworker looks him dead in the eye and says, I make minimum wage mother fr. They don't pay me to care. They pay me to sell tickets. Quote, this man exploded the manager has to defuse the situation. I don't remember what he said but he got the guy to leave. My coworker was only given a slap on the wrist as his ballsy ness was unseen by anyone in that theater. Preston really never gave AFK. Even when they did eventually fire him. I would like another Preston story please. Once watched a man walk up to an apartment building. Hit the buzzer. Then he looked up and realized there was smoke pouring out of multiple upstairs windows. No police or firefighters on site yet. Dude just shrugged. 
turned around and took a drink from his big styrofoam cup as he walked right by. My boss's girlfriend works in the company. One time she was in my section just complaining about something to my manager. Who was silently working. Getting no answer she asks him. Manager. Are you ignoring me? To which he promptly replies. Yes. I am. She then just left. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos.